Okay, we've recovered from the incredible end to that last game. A judge's ruling knocking a player out of double elimination is punishing, but we have three left. So in the loser's final, we have on the left-hand side Dave Hoyland playing as IG, and on the right-hand side we have Tim Fowler playing as Wizard. And I'm joined, my name is Jono, and I'm joined by Chris Dyer. You're right, Chris. Hi, Jono. I'm joined by Jerry. How's it going, Jerry? Not too bad, thank you. <sighs> oh. So we should point out on the ruling front, so there was obviously a game loss to Theo. They're the rules for a Nats level event. Uh, Vikesh, it, the breaking uh, news yeah, came out of Vikesh's deck, but Vikesh, since he played Theo, had only ran, and therefore he did not get a game loss. If it, yeah, had he caught, right. he would also, he, he, he's the winner's final. He's the final, grand final. So. Uh, yeah, he was given a warning, uh, but he avoided the game loss because he hadn't actually used the deck, which obviously turned out to be illegal um, since the game in which he lost the agenda so yeah it's so it's just uh, unfortunately Theo is out Dave um, Dave continues and Dave was the first to admit that he was in a bit of a hole in that game I mean he had a few outs but they were tenuous and he was it looked like he was going to lose that game against Wizard uh, Theo was on top of everything he didn't. He never hit Psychic Field or anything like that so yeah it was, uh, it was looking yeah. like a tough matchup at that point it was and uh, he's rewarded by a matchup as RG against Wizard again yeah uh, <laughs> so he so got one win so um, uh, this was of course being um, part of Tim Fowler you practice a lot with Tim Fowler, don't you, Chris? So Tim and me had identical runner decks this weekend. Oh, you did? So you're so going to give us some incredible insight into this wizard deck. So this wizard has two Southside Slums and two Employee Strike. So okay. it wow. has a lot of cards that really help this matchup. And therefore so no Siphon? No Siphon, no, no Keyhole. Is it, is it good it's, stuff? It's straight Dumble. Yeah, Dumble, okay. Nice. Um, okay, all right. Two, so two, sl two Slums? Two Interesting. Slums, yep. uh, Scrubber? No, of course no not. Scrubber. Wizard? No. Okay, right. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, yeah interesting. Okay, so... Um, do you favour uh, Levy? Chris, do you favour Tim in this matchup? I uh, as, so against IG, if you make a mistake, you can just die from nowhere. But as long as Tim is careful, doesn't get unlucky, I think he's seventy-five percent favoured in this matchup. Sure. Do you think he's? Um, I mean, it's the only reason Tim would make a mistake is that it's been a hell of a long weekend and we're quite late on in the day, right? Yeah. But you I, would assume that he wouldn't make a mistake in this matchup. He knows the matchup, right? I don't think this is actually a matchup Tim knows so well. Right. Um, there aren't many IG players in the UK who play this style. It's mostly Dave's group from around Cheltenham and Tim what doesn't practice against them. Sure. Yeah. Have you guys, I uh, know you guys practice a lot together in preparation. Did, uh, did a few of you uh, stop playing this deck? I played it a couple of times. Um, yeah. we, if you draw, we found if you draw the hate, then you're, you're so, yeah. so strong in this sure. matchup because yeah, you remove yeah. the row and then you remove the bioethics and then suddenly they can't kill you yeah. and they have no scoring plan. Yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah. that's yeah, that's certainly true. And if you if you get an employee strike, then then trashing the things becomes almost trivial. Even if he gets a really powerful piece of ice on on archives yeah. and a load of cards in there, it, it becomes irrelevant. And but even without that, wizard gets pressure up early, right? So and south set slums also bypasses hostile infrastructure, which means that the lock. Uh, wow. That they can uh, yeah, of course, it's yes. far less debilitating. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay, so you can obviously, you, I guess you start by, you possibly start by south setting a hostile and then go off the other things. So you look for some money first, uh, yeah. and you look for, ideally for a slums, and then you early game, while Dave's got no ice, uh, no face down cards and archives, you just run a card every turn, remove it from the game. Yeah. Um, Tim has opened with slums, interestingly, so he can't do that. So uh, Tim, uh, Tim ha is, has got cast and is starting to money up. He's just got the same old thing. Uh, any particular high impact events? He, he'll have played the same old thing so that Great if the levy gets taken out of hand by net damage, he can still recover his Okay, all right. So that's a, a kind of long-term yeah. game. So Dave has a breaker bay and a hostile here. Yeah. And still he's going to run a sensi. I, I mean, you trash it. You still trash it, right? Trash it, take the net damage. The, yeah. the sensi is the best card in Dave's deck. Yeah, yeah and he's got, as you said, he's got the same old thing. There's A wild side would be a problem now. It's a foul stamp also probably annoying but you don't want to lean too heavily on Faust no he has free Faust right yeah and you have to be careful about how often you use a Faust when there's a potential lock on there if you can see everything resed it's great but when there's unresed things you always have to think about worst case scenario with IG so that's I think the, the trick is <laughs> the only difficulty is Tim would probably love to get in and trash this hostile now but sure. because the, the Faust is gone he can't get through the ice now until he finds a way through put, that put this deck in foul blackmail <laughs> we had this deck in foul it's yeah. worse yeah <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Okay. So but um, you can be Kim sometimes. <laughs> does uh, does Tim consider trying to run and trash this hostile, or does he just leave it and take the one? He there? he would like to. I think he will try and draw his hate first. He'll try and draw slums. At which point the hostile becomes far less relevant anyway. Um, he still needs some money. He'll also look to accumulate. I've had worse in hand, which protects him if Dave tries to kill him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, uh, do we have any guesses as to what this ice might be on the hostile? I assume, I assume it's nothing more than uh, a vanilla or so something. So, Dave's deck will have Crick, Vanilla, Cortez Lock, and possibly a Cheeky Swordsman. 
Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, but that's, so not, that, not that's high, all the ice. Not hive anymore. I've seen decks. No. no, I've seen decks that have. They only have like uh, nine ice, and it's like three quick, three cortex, or even like two, uh, two quick, three cortex. Yeah, it'll it'll be like it'll that. be nine or uh, ten and ice. Some vanilla, three vanilla. Yeah, they're very very low. Right, so he's so Dave's done has, has drawn quite a lot of ice for his deck, enough to get a protection across the board. So he's now got something protecting archives, which is quite big, especially if it's a crick and he can fire, you know, that sentence back in or whatever. Uh, yeah, Tim can't really run archives until he finds a David. No likelihood. Yeah. Okay, so there's the slums. Uh, it's come down, and um, Tim's Tim's got a fair amount of money actually. So if if Dave does get round to starting to put out assets, yeah. I expect Tim yeah. very aggressively to go after them. So he has to protect everything. Almost. So Dave's way around this will be to play multiple assets in a turn. He won't want to play one because Tim will just run just it and run remove it. it. Yeah, of course. If he he will try and play two course. or three in the same turn and then none for a few turns while he builds up cards again. Yeah, so he'll probably try and put down a few really high impact ones as well, like um, a Biothics, a Sensi. And so what, what Dave would most like to do is play three cards where one of them is a Psychic Field, one of them is a, gene a Genetics Pavilion, and one of them is a Tech Startup, something like that. So the Psychic yeah. Field, if he hits that, it will protect him. Yeah, yeah, sure. And one of them has got a really high trash cost. Yeah. Uh, so, so he's going to do the. Also, the other thing he might like to do first is um, if he could install strike. Jackson, Jackson, draw, Jackson, draw, just to increase those trash costs as well. So we've got a strike on the table, which means uh, the IG ability is blank. So these are all the printed trash costs. That's one for a tech startup. So he hits the tech startup. So you do take one in a net. Looks like he's going to. Think about it. Yeah. So his choice here is whether he wants to so remove only, this from the game or remove the second one from the game. Uh, so he decides to leave him with that, and he's he's going to take a net though. He should take a net. He should check. take a net. So slums isn't first time; it's once. Slums, per slums is once of your choice. Yeah. Yeah. So Tim is banking that he that the second one is more high value to remove than the tech starter. Yeah. Um, well, hopefully tech starter's good, but yeah. So tech, tech, tech starter with one of Dave's kill. Dave's kill combo is a Ronin or a tech starter. That's yeah, better. that's it. That's, that's much, much better. better. So yeah. He's going to trash that uh, for two whiz bucks, and he's going to root from the game, of course. Yep. So what was that? Uh, he's going to take a net as well. That was bio 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 right. Yeah. That is better. Still, um, did uh, Tim take the net from trashing the bio? So was uh, that because no, he slumped it? Oh, because he slumped it. Okay, I'm sorry. Was that an interesting play from Dave to put those two down? Two easy trashes for whiz. Well, he didn't know there was going to be a strike, and he didn't know. Remove from the game card visible on the camera. Uh, it's fine, we can see. Oh, yeah, we can see. Yeah, so the biothix on the top of the screen is uh, out shot. Uh, sorry, it's in shot, but it's out of the game. Yep. There's quite a crowd now uh, around the. Uh, there is actually a large crowd. Alex, yeah. Alex is our runner at the minute. Uh, we, we're worried about. Um, we're worried about possibly our commentary being heard by players, but now the there's enough of this. I mean, block, block of players. It wasn't going to happen before, but there's no chance now. The number of players around and the kind of murmur. Uh, and they're all being very nice and not kicking the camera, which is which is very good. Yeah, I put a big table in the way. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> people good. People kick cameras. Yeah. All right. I feel like we're settling in for the long haul. I feel ah. like neither neither player is going to make many mistakes, yeah, and I don't know what's going to happen. Play. So yeah. al um, already, Dave. Uh, sorry, already, Dave is in a really bad position. Yeah, like he doesn't. He needs to know how to win. How yeah. to win is his problem, right? So he has to get a tech startup or a Ronin down on the table for yeah. the start of his turn. And yeah. The chance. But yeah. even if he does, he hasn't got the kill. He, exactly. He hasn't got enough. That's exactly. only three net damage. That's exactly, not enough. Yeah, exactly. He, he only wants to do that when he knows he can get a kill. So he needs to get like a chairman rest and a bioethics to fire and that to happen. And, and this, this, this happen. is the tipping point. If Dave can, could have got assets down before Tim started checking remotes and moving from oh, the game, second two slums. slums. Okay. Then, then maybe wow. he can find yeah, a way out. But it. this is this is. It's going to such a difficult. It's going to be in the levy. Okay. So, um, yeah, if. Dave draws a static. We know he's got two in the deck. Cerebral static. Does he immediately play it, or does he consider waiting until he wants to install some? Um, I would play it straight away. Yeah. Um, so there is. There we go. So there he draws two assets. And so then plays if it. Tim has employee strike in his hand, so strike this dies. Is bonkers. Uh, does so Tim consider same old strike and then run the remotes? He may do. Um, the, there is one deja vu in the deck. If it gets to the at the moment, it looks like Tim won't need to levy. How many same old things? Uh, one same old thing. So just one. Okay. So he's got a genuine levy risk. Uh, they just cut out sure. very quickly. No, he's got some, some video problems in a second. Right. Yeah, if, if, if Tim has lost his deja vu already, I didn't see it go by by that damage, but as long yeah. as he's all got it, he will consider same old thing strike. There so you go. same old strike, okay. Go. And then as soon as he draws deja vu, if he needs to, he will levy. He will, yeah, he'll immediately levy, okay. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't have a much more rig to speak of. Uh, you might as well move from game, right? He's got two slums. Yeah, there's, there's only uh, two assets out. Slums not unique, which is, I guess, surprising, but sure. Um, it's yeah, very. It's quite rare to see more than. Uh, so more th than these were That's these true. were tested against um, asset spam when it first came out, and they didn't really help a huge amount. So I, I, I haven't seen any until this weekend when they suddenly uh, yeah. come back in fashion to CTM. So he just drew. He didn't consider running the. Yeah, I'm surprised. Um, yeah. He might. 
he might be worried that because that was click three, I think. He doesn't want to hit. If it was a psychic right, field, he doesn't want to hit psychic yeah. field. Um, so uh, is this an out for Dave if he can land a psychic field? He still has to do one more net damage. That's so true. Dave's list, unless it's changed recently, doesn't have a neural AMP or any proactive so, way to do so net so damage. So he needs to have yeah. a Ronin on the table. Yeah, the or, or, a bio, or a bio FX. Yeah, yeah or a bio FX. He does not have even a single neural AMP no. or any way of doing exactly one net damage. So, right. yeah. so it's, it's bio FX or Ronin. That's the only way of actively doing it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Dave very kindly provided his list at the beginning of the cut, so we did, can yeah. check that yeah. whenever we like. It's quite interesting, actually. It's a list I've been trying to get my hand on for a while. <laughs> so <laughs> this I is a psychic field, is my guess. Maybe. Bio no, FX. Okay, so he's going to... Uh, well, he was just... He was slums as well. Yeah, slums. And run a psychic field, okay. Uh, so I didn't see what the clip this was, but it wasn't last. It's it two. Been one it, was it was just two. two. It was two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So side game, see if he keeps his hands. I predict he's going to draw twice. After this, <laughs> if he loses. Uh, looks like it's two to nothing for Dave. So, so I've had worse will still redraw if he's got it in hand. Okay. That's I don't know. Yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, we'll plan. Uh, apparently, we might have an issue with the color balance, which is a bit of a weird one. Well, be, it does. Uh, it does, it does look loose. quite purple. Um, do you want to go? Someone did knock the camera. That camera did stop recording uh, and restart, so you can go. Uh, Make sure the camera's all connected up fine because I think uh, it might yeah, be a wire. I'm just going to pop out for a second because I wonder if a cable got knocked. Yeah, yeah. So you go just go check all the cables and I'll just uh, chat to Chris. So where did you uh, finish then? Five, six? I finished fifth. Fifth, yeah. yeah. So um, good. By, by almost anyone coming here today, they would be really happy with fifth. Were you, I'm guessing, hoping for more? Um, I, my opinion is always that you should, you should try and make the cut, and then the cut by its nature can be quite swingy, quite changeable, sure. quite luck-based, so just see what happens. Um, I get upset with myself when I lose because of misplays, because I, I don't think that happened against Dave. I think Dave played well. Sure, took, no, I think you outs, did very well so to, get to, to get to the situation you did. Yeah, you, you also played your outs, and yeah. that's what you have to do. I think we're okay. Uh, I couldn't see any loose cables, nothing came out, but you know, I was still, still quite purpley. Gave a oh, well. <laughs> the technical professional term of give all the wires a wiggle I'm a pro so because Dave's hostile infrastructure is almost negated the only thing that's going to trigger off now is parasites or ice destruction he might actually consider putting a, Text cruci a, a crucial that, yeah. asset behind that ice and we'll just track the hostiles together trash the hostile that's true the hostile's never going to fly could, now because oh, the wizards, pa parasite is the only thing parasite and, and cut recars are the only thing that will trigger it if you put, if you put yeah. a chairman if you put a chairman behind there then uh, you have to trash the breaker sure, bay okay. which is quite interesting Trash the shock. So it looks like Dave's plan is just to lay out the traps, and because Tim's going to run everything. He's trying so to he's trying to tax Tim's economy as well. So Tim is using shock. more than his wizard credits every yeah. turn now. And maybe hit, maybe he might get lucky and hit some key pieces as well. Like he might hit, say, the one deja vu, that kind of thing. Uh, so we're going to get Faust. Um, now is that dangerous? I suggest Tim might go down to low hand sizes during turns. But uh, there's no. a wild side in this deck, right? There, there is a wild side. Um, wild side. In my opinion, you don't play wild side in this matchup because it takes away your card draw at the start of the turn, which leaves you no flexibility if they've got a, gen a genetics pavilion on the table. Sure, but you're still drawing two, right? Yeah, I but it, suppose if you hit a psychic field... If you hit a psychic field, field click yeah. one, you then can't draw any more sure. cards, which means you're much more vulnerable. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a good point. That's true. Uh, psychic field's a real issue then, for a while, so um, Although, I haven't said that, there's no threat on Dave's side. The hostile no, exactly. is doing nothing. There's no, uh, there's no remote. Well, uh, there were no remotes, so there's no Ronins, there's no bioethics. Uh, so I think Tim's plan is just to keep trashing. He might even win by decking. Tim will keep trashing the unice remotes. Um, he seems entirely some point, uninterested in centrals. He'll he'll build what, he'll build up enough of a rig, ideally with four memory in it, so that uh, quarters locks his bank, and that turns off yeah. almost all the nasty ice in Dave's deck. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Because he can, you know, trivially play one card to get through a uh, a vanilla. One card for vanilla. Two cards for a crick. But if he can get a data sucker down, that becomes much cheaper. Um, yeah. He won't want to run centrals too much, but he might start running it once or twice a turn and proactively removing stuff from Dave's hand even before yeah. he can install them. Yeah. But, uh, but just just staying on top of it just means as the more the longer the game goes on, the more agendas there are in the game. And they naturally build up an yeah. HQ as well. Yeah. Dave's, had, Dave's had no way to get rid of them, so they're, yeah. they're in archives or HQ, but, and yeah. they're going to filter gradually into those two places and it'll yeah. become increasingly As R&D thins them. out, they're just yeah. <laughs> psychic fields. Okay, so he's going to run on the psychic field, more side games. Bid zero. Uh, I believe it's click one, so I expect to see two more draws if he loses this game. Uh, so last time Dave bid two and Tim bid zero. Let's see what we got. One to zero. Master mind games. So he's going to lose 
uh, including I've had worse, okay, and uh, liberated than something else. Is that David, maybe? Uh, okay, so he's going to go up to three. Do, I guess, yeah, he trashes and moves from game. So if he removed the, if he removed the deja vu from the game there, then Dave might have an out? Yeah, if, if Tim loses the deja vu, deja vu, decking Tim becomes an option, and then Dave just needs to do a tiny bit of net damage. But he has to, um, he has to set up some kind of lock. And he's, he's, not, he's still got a long way to go. Yeah, he's not remotely Tim, close Tim to that. can't have gone through more than about 20 cards. Sure. I mean, okay, it looks like so just over half his deck, I think. Yeah, so this, six lock. this this isn't ideal for Tim. Um, it's two cards to he doesn't want he doesn't want to throw two ice, two cards away, but now he has to because otherwise he's taking free damage anyway. So yeah. he probably can't access. So he might jack out. Well, what would what would I suppose a shock? Uh, fetal would be the worst. Fe fetal, fetal would have killed him in that situation. Right, sure. So jacking out is right. Of course, they run fetals. Yeah. So that was a bit of a setback for Tim, but yeah. because there's no because there's no face down remotes, he knows he's not dead. He knows there's he, no he way he knows he can he's die. not dead. I don't think he needs to run that run HQ there because Cortez lock was too was too taxing for him. Um, right, it, the, you have to run at some point, but maybe after hitting a psychic field was a bit too aggressive. But he's still in such a strong position. Yeah, I was worried he did it at the same turn. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, thinking at Jackson. I wonder what he's going to put back. Um, there's a few. I mean, static is an option or. Um, well, there's, no, there's not much in archives because most of them There's not a lot. There's a Sensi, a Hedge. Uh, I can't say that other colors. I think, well, Sensi's never going to fire. Uh, so he's putting back three face down cards. Oh, no. Uh, two so face down and uh, uh, two face down and a static. I think that's one what face he has down to do. Static. How much money and Sensi. Got? Okay. One face down card, one Sweep Static, and one uh, Sensi Actors Union. Yeah, uh, that's not a bad idea. I About mean, eight credits Tim has. So, yeah, I mean, if you get the, if you get Cerebral Static down this gives Dave a chance to get some assets to stick for a little while. If, if he can stick a static, so we know that Tim has lost the same old thing. He's lost one strike. I don't know if the second one's gone by or not. I don't think I've seen it. So He has to be cautious of Levy. So yeah. um, The thing is, Dave has also lost some bioethics and some other pieces and Sensei's in the bit. Dave, Dave stuff, has lost so two bioethics. So two bioethics, yeah. He's almost out of ways to do net damage consistently, which is how this deck... I think that's now Dave's out. He's got to try and grind Tim down, but without the bioethics... Because if Tim's difficult. on five cards... Without bioethics, there's no way of getting him right. Uh, correct. Yeah. Because even Chair, Res Chairman Hero, it's you can only do five. Yeah. So, so you've got an ice in this remote now. So, so this is this is good play by Dave. He's trying to get Tim to use cards to get into the remote, which is it, hastening him through the deck. What's the best case ice here uh, on the remote for Dave? Is it Cortex? It's another Cortex lock yeah. would be ideal. Crick would not be Crick terrible. Would be bad. Because they, uh, uh, Tim's got two cards. Fire. Yeah. So he's going to run. He's going to run the remote. Uh, what do you think you do? I get cheeky swordsman. Do you think it's a one-off? No, we don't. Either. Sad times. Chrysalis. Oh, let me go to my deck list. We saw that in the previous game, actually. I forgot. Right, you can. You have to remind me. So we've got me. one chrysalis. Uh, it's uh, two net damage, I think. One sub yep. two net damage. Uh, uh, so it's, it's, it's low strength. Three strength. Probably. Oh, is it two? so it's one to boost, one to break. Okay. Yeah, so it's so two, two cards. It's two he chooses two. or two he doesn't. Cru crucially, two cards. Well, it depends yeah. if it's I've had worse. <laughs> The only difference, really, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, that's the third bioethics. It's going to access a pavilion. Oh, there was no more bioethics. So. I, that, that, was, sorry, that, so was, that was a pavilion, not a bio. Oh, yeah, it's a pavilion. Yeah. It's pavilion. If, the, if the third bioethics was to go, am I correct in saying that if Tim just stays in five cards and never runs, there's no way he loses this game? You, uh, you can do players. some... Uh, with uh, Chairman Hero, yeah. you can get down you, to three, but even then, yeah, with just Ronin, you can only do three net damage, so even four cards, even three cards would be fine, I think. There are, you can do some strange things with Psychic Fields and Shocks, but Tim has to be quite aggressive. No, no, I mean, I mean if Tim just never runs again, Without scoring out, Dave can't win by net damage then, right? I mean, I guess I guess in theory, Dave could start to put down agendas, but it, anything he advances is a red flag. I mean, there's no reason. In fact, I, there's no there's reason not for Tim not to run an advanced thing. There's no, not going to be advanced traps in this deck. No, so, but advancing yeah. Fetal becomes interesting. Uh, that's true. That's fair. And, of course, you can advance a Ronin. Yes. That's also true. Yeah. Which is not a trap, but... Yeah, so he could go for double Ronin. So that Mimic will help him break the Chrysalis, which means he won't need cards for that. So that... that now basically allows Tim into the remote at very little cost and again that stopped the bleed of cards out of his deck so he's going to dirty laundry uh, pay yeah okay uh, the remote breaking Chris list and accessing a hostile this is just enough credits left which to trash. you can trash and remove from the game sure you could have let him have it um, it's, it's not going to do it's, anything it's not but if Tim wants to break if Tim wants to trash ice if he wants to play Parasite or something then those hostiles then become uh, so, so how many? I saw at least one go in the bin. How many parasites are in this deck? There are two parasites, one deja vu. Okay, so you'd only really use that for um, vanilla, right? Uh, well, you've got most, most well. there's also a corroder in the deck. So, sure. If, if he can, oh, okay. He, right. he, he has options for almost all the eyes to pay with money or cards. What about um, 
Yeah, same old things. How many same old things? One same old thing which okay. is gone wow. for the moment. So one deja vu is deja vu. So this must be it. It's in deja vu for Levy. This should be deja vu for Levy, play Levy. Yeah, okay. Because that's his only way of playing Levy. Yeah, and he probably waited as soon as he drew the deja vu. He probably knew because that, that is exactly he could what take net for yeah. any reason. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, that was that was one of Dave's possible outs is by hitting the deja vu and just decking. Was Tim. Dave's best out? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so um, Tim has lost a little, but not a lot of momentum. Um, I guess he's giving up a turn and a lot of money, uh, but he's going to stay alive for a lot longer. He, he, he gets thirty nine cards back into his deck. Which yeah, is a, a lot relevant. of damage. To take, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. Uh, is he tempted to run this remote, maybe? Uh, he is a bit low on cash. Um, That's true. Le so Le Levy has really damaged the economy. He's got no long-term economy down, so he's got no liberated accounts or daily casts. Um, so he might build up for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what is the worst-case scenario for Tim? Uh, the the worst-case scenario there would have been running the remote, paying, and then hitting a fleet where you can't steal. Sure. But what's the worst case if you don't run it, though? It's not couldn't be that bad, really, can it? No, but you don't want to let Dave have more than two or three remotes because that's the point his combo yeah, yeah, comes yeah, online. Sure. So, so if, he installs, if he was to install three remotes now, yes, then that would be a problem. Yes. Um, or two remotes and a... So that, so that makes it an upgrade. Instantly tells you it's a breaker bay. It has to be a breaker bay. There's no other upgrade in this yeah. deck. So I, I'm not convinced I like that play by Dave. I'd rather have the Jackson on a separate server to, to make make Tim wonder what that card is. Yeah, okay, that's fair. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, yeah, might, he, he might have installed it. I mean, he may also want to just defend the Jackson. He may want to defend the Jackson, Jackson. But, I, but it cost him one credit to get in. Yeah. And Tim is now going to run and try and trust that Jackson or, or see if Dave pops him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So he did. And he's going to access break away. Yep. Uh, I, I mean, I guess you leave it. He's going to remove from the game. Okay. Uh, so the hostile came out of the game as well. I'm not sure how many Dave has. It might be just two. So there might be nothing to use that break away on. Uh, he's going to move from the game anyway. Might as well. He has three hostiles. He's got three hostiles. Three, all three hostiles. Okay. Uh, so in theory, there is a third hostile in the deck. Yeah. So normally the hostile is quite key to stopping them disassembling your lock because you want them to be able, to, you want them to be taking net damage from the bioethics and then have to take net damage to get rid of the bioethics at the same time. Yeah. And that no one expects the double slums. Yeah. Well, that's it. That that more than anything is what makes slums huge. Slums. So slums is big against museum decks, but this is not a museum deck. But it no. It so turns off. It turns off the trash effects of Hostile. And right. CTM. So, That's so, in the deck, so these right? slums are in the deck to beat CTM. The IG matchup is a, is a happy byproduct. It's, yeah. it's not okay. in there for that reason. Of uh, course, because, yeah. of course, slums turns off uh, CTM ability as well. Yes. That's right. Okay, so you can check the other outside remote Sensi, which you trash, right? Yeah. I mean, so two slums for, is just to see the real credit. Against CTM, that there's no reason to install two because uh, the first one does everything. Exactly. You need it so, to, yeah. so CTM is very, very fast, uh, and you really need to see a hate card early if sure. you're going to try and keep on top of their assets. Did you run a networking in this deck as well? Or just, no. Just this, just slums. No. The the influence is so tight that uh, ideally you'd be playing course, free power. Levy. So. Yeah. And wizard. Wild side. Well, yeah, yeah, wild side, of course. Yeah. 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 <laughs> three wild side, three Faust. Two strike. Two strike. Yeah, okay, that is tight. And a levy. Yeah. And a parasite, two parasite. Yeah. So, huh, it's so it's still still nothing to nothing. Yep. I, um, <laughs> but Dave's winning, right? I mean, sorry, yeah, Tim's winning, right? Like Dave's on the ropes. So there, there are no there are no points scored. Um, yeah. I don't know what the time in the round is. There is a, a very very slim chance that Dave, if this game goes long enough, no, he was the high seed. Could try and never no, advance. Wasn't. Tim no, was the high seed. Dave would oh, have to never advance a philotic. Okay, which and score two points, and that and makes Tim, that makes Tim try and score points. So yeah, okay. at some point, Tim will will want to score some points. Just to take that one possibility away. But Tim yeah. is running every remote that gets yeah, put down. Absolutely. So, absolutely. so right. if Dave was the highest seed here, this would be this would be a very different game, really, wouldn't it? It, it the, would the be, but, for time, yeah. but Tim is Tim is still comfortable. The agendas are going to be building up in, in yeah. hand and HQ, and okay, so Tim uh, runs the remote. He breaks the vanilla with a Faust, and he trashes uh, the tech startup on it. He leaves the break bay. Which means he has a slum ready, uh, still available. Check the outside ice, which was a sensi, so that was very fortunate. Uh, but now there's not even hostiles on the board. Um, so, I mean, Dave's yeah, and, really that, and that brings Tim's parasites and his cutlery online. So, as well. he, so for instance, he could parasite um, the vanilla and the, the quarter lock on HQ as well is a good candidate. Yeah. Okay. So two installs, one behind the vanilla, one out, uh, and playing sort of static, which uh, kills employee strike. But uh, is there any face? He's got another one in hand. Oh, that's punishing. Okay. So that, in theory, that was quite well timed by Dave because the yeah. whole deck was in play. That employee strikes out of the game for good now, short of the same off thing or deja vu. Yeah. Um, having the second one in hand is, is quite lucky for Tim. Yeah. 
But having said that, there's virtually no face down cards in archives, so that employee strike isn't actually that valuable apart from turning off the static. Apart from turning off the static, he wants a wizard ability, yeah. yeah. So he's going to run and break the vanilla and access, uh, not access to Jackson because uh, Dave's going to use it to put back static. And. Hmm. Oh, there are some face down cards. He's got two. just two, yeah. Anything else? Uh, two hedges. Hmm. Is money his way out of this? No. But they're untrashable. They are untrashable. If it goes for R&D. Uh, so, um, yeah, Tim stri uh, plays striking and ran the vanilla. He's going to run the other thing, Biothix, which is going to remove real money. So that is the third Biothix. Uh, so now all the Biothix are out of the game. Two, so uh, one hostile is out of the game. So now Bar, as long as Tim is on five cards, Bar, Dave scoring out, I don't think Tim can lose the game. There is a yeah, there, there's a fringe okay. out where Dave has a Ronin and a uh, psychic field on, on the table. So, uh, but Tim would have to not be able to trash the Ronin or tech startup. So, for, yeah, somehow, the, yeah. W without building up the remotes, which Dave just can't do at the moment, there's not there's not many ways he can win. Tim's Corroder is in the discard pile, interestingly, which means he will have to break vanilla with cards rather than um, rather than with credits. Sure. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's fine, I think. I mean, uh, cards are life. Uh, is there only one levy in this deck? One levy. Okay, yeah, all right, that's fair. So, uh, but he, that deck should, I mean, his deck should last him. He's not going to take net anymore. He's basically not going to take another net for the rest of the game, you feel like, apart from psychic fields. Yeah, um, and he's removed, I think, two of the psychic fields with slums. So okay, yeah. there's only one more he can hit, and he'll almost certainly want to slums So he just needs well. to stay alive. I mean, there's, a, there's an argument that he just draws and clicks for credits unless Dave installs something and then he runs it and trashes it and then he just waits for Dave to deck out yeah the onus is really on Dave to find an answer here if, if he can well yeah as you said I think the only his, his only out being the second seed is to somehow sneak a Flotic and then time to be called yeah which is tenuous when Tim's deck checking everything but I you, think you, we just you can do it if you can play the Philotic and the Psychic Field at the same time you hope it's the Psychic Field first oh, that, that, that uh, sort of gives you a 50 and then he probably redraws yeah. okay might. so we get three we installs from Dave so let's see so one's behind uh, so one's out in the open he's going to run that first he only has two slums so if one of these is good a veto okay so now but two net that means the other the, the Psychic Field uh, the uh, Philotic plan is now also out, right? Yeah, d well, does that suggest a... Unless you can combo kill him. Uh, to me, that suggests the genders are just built up in Dave's hand to the extent that he had to do something. That also suggests there's a psychic field. Yeah, we, yeah. Ooh. That also suggests there's a psychic field. Maybe expect the vanillas to be run first in the psychic field, and he was hoping no, to kill the fetal. So if well, that's a Ronin... No, that, uh, that's only three net damage. It's not enough. He's got one card. Tim draws two more two cards. Draws. He's, he's fine. Okay. So, two. so we didn't run the other thing. I wonder what it is. Um, I feel like maybe the third card is a psychic field and uh, David rolling the dice that Tim would run that first, lose his cards and possibly die on the fetal. There is a slim chance it's a third fetal. And he thought he might die by running a three. He's going to well, score the a philotic and do Lotic, two yeah. net. Okay. That's interesting. Some dope scores. Yeah, um, there's some scores. There's actually oh, some points. And Dave has some points. Do you reckon, is that the first points he scored all weekend? It could easily be. It may, it may well be. It could easily be. Because you're right, he, he sort of had to try and do something. Yeah, because the, the agendas will just be building up. He's got no way to get rid of them anymore. Jackson's are all gone. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so the Fetals are out and the Flossic is out. That's, that was a nice... So, okay, if Tim run the Flossic first... Was Tim running the two fetals the best case? Uh, for Dave, yes. Yeah. Okay. Wor worst case is he runs Philotic first, probably runs fetal second click, and maybe doesn't run the third one. Yeah, yeah okay. sure. So he still scored the Philotic, um, even though he didn't kill. I mean, I guess so, get two points. But there's a slim chance that Philotic could kill if he'd stolen a few. I don't know, I guess the, agen the rest of the agendas are GFIs and Future Perfects, is that right? Yes. Okay. So there's not a lot of. If he takes on the gender, basically. Uh, well, GFI actually wouldn't win the game. No. Mm. And Dave now has to install advanced advances agendas. Yeah. Yeah. Which it, it can only be an agenda or a Ronin, either of which Tim has to, to run on. So and, and there's no reason for him not to. It, absolutely no reason. And, and he's waiting. Yeah, I mean, so that's it. Even if it's a Ronin, you want to run it. He's, so uh, Dave's basically hoping Tim makes a mistake at this point. And yes. If he gets to draw and uh, he's, yeah, he's, looking, he's looking bad for Dave. 
to continue drawing. I'd love to know how many cards are left in R&D, but it can't be more than 12 or 15. Pretty deep. Yeah, it's looking yeah. pretty slim. Uh, so here's you saw us. Okay, so he's going to try and build a remote. Uh, we get a sucker. Hmm. So one more install, and actually, um, Tim will turn off the turns Cortex. Turns off Cortex Lock, and then he can run HQ, which builds up sucker tokens. So he's going to run Crick. Interesting. So he can fast throw it two cards. Yeah, so and he, he will do. And he should do. Uh, I'm not sure what it can install, though. There's very little in the bin. It's all out of the game. Uh, but there could be uh, Ronin or something. I don't know. The Biothics. No, they're all out of the game. There might be a hostile infrastructure. That's not, yeah, that's about it. So he's going to act... Hmm, he's having a good thing. I wonder what that card So is. He, has, he has no wizard credits uh, because of the Cerebral Static. Yeah. So you have to pay so real money. So it looks like... Is that a pavilion, maybe? I uh, um, only got a very small glance. It might be a pavilion. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Control up. So it looks like he's thinking about running HQ, but there's two cards to break, right, instead of one net. So he's just taking net. He might have drawn off had worse. Yeah. He's going to he's gonna suck a Mimic kit. Yeah, which is sad, because that, that sucker token comes back. Yeah, that's fine. That's true, actually. Yeah. Uh, access uh, Chairman Hero. Hero. Chairman Hero. Hero. Which he can't afford. He can't afford to trash him. No, because he spent, he spent his his box. He, he hasn't, but there's this re in place, so he doesn't have any Oh, I'm products. sorry. Of course, yeah. Re-Restarting. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so he's got three. Uh, but he's got seven. And uh, there's, I'm gonna have, oh, it's four in the bin, and, Arcos, and it's strength, yeah. okay, okay, yeah, so Seven yeah. trash normally. Um, seven trash, six, what's the actual printed trash cost? I thought it was seven, but I, I've barely seen Jeremy. I don't know, um, I thought it was like five or six, it's certainly high, and anyway, there's yeah, four six, cards in the bin, yeah. All right, so it's installed on the, uh, it's installed, hmm, isn't the break of bay installing that on the remote? I mean, is there any chance one of them is a chairman hero? Could be with this with the static in play. There's a good chance, yeah. Yeah, there's maybe nothing to do. And actually, this might be this he's, might be Dave's out. He's only got seven credits. Still can't do it. If you can break, he stays on five. If if yep. if Tim stays on five cards at the end of the turn, it still is not enough. But don't forget, Tim saw a card off the top of R and D which he would like to trash, but decided not to. That may also be a pavilion. Um, yeah, I think it was a pavilion. So um, that might be on the break of bay. That would be makes sense. Uh, like, it's not a lot to waste. So the chairman hero there. So it's six to trash, plus uh, four down. So it's six plus four to trash, so he's going to leave it. But, I mean, if you can... Uh, so there's the so that's four or five to trash, I don't remember. Uh, five uh, yeah, five. I think so you can't trash that because either. all the bioethics are out of the game, it's okay. It is okay, I think. Uh, it's okay as long as Tim... Yeah, it is, as long as... I can't, become, I, can't, I can't become any situations where Tim, unless he does something silly, loses this game. Yeah. It, so, it, yeah. Just stay on five cards. Let him do. Even if he cheats, said even if he does his chairman hero, then he combos. He knows there's he knows there's two points on the board if he needs it now as well. Um, he may have to run archives first to build up some credits. But he, he knows if, if if it comes down to it, he can he can go and get those two points. Yep. Yeah, he can. That's so right. Did he, um, is there one yeah. remote left unchecked? He didn't check the breaker the bay remote. I believe. Okay. No, that was a. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Okay. Yes, the chairman hero is there. We know the genesis pavilion is outside. So he's going to raise the chairman. I guess he might. So he, why not? he's using the chairman to do two passive net damage, if you like. He's making yeah, Tim discard right. down to three. So is this, this a, is this a plan to deck him? Um, I mm. think Tim almost certainly just takes credits so he can trash the hero here. Or, or just yeah. takes credits till the till time is scored. He can Moby now, can right? Yes, he kind of can. Uh, so it's time for Thrones, not for us. I'm not sure how long we have left, though. Yeah, it can't be very long. Uh, it's a 40 minute round in, uh, before the final. So uh, I'm not sure how long we've been playing, actually, but it can't be that, uh, there can't be that long left. Hmm, okay. In this situation, Tim, though, I'm sitting there thinking that I'm sure there's something I've forgotten, a way I die that I can't remember. Like, that's the panic, isn't it? That, when you're playing that, that's the difficulty of and, and that is legitimate that you think you would think that this late on in the day there's a way that I mean this is Dave Hoyland we're talking Especially, about he'll yeah, kill me in a way I so, can't know so Dave gives, Dave gives almost nothing away future okay, perfect so side game side for the game um, so Tim's credits are quite precious here so he probably bid zero so he bid zero to uh, a little like two actually yeah okay so I was going to keep that in hand so yeah he's got no way of getting rid of it either which is a shame Six minutes, we've just uh, been told by uh, Coop, uh, the uh, head marshal, that uh, six minutes on the round. Yes, there's not long left. So Tim is, is pushing it a bit here because he's running he's perfect he's running late on the turn. So if he, if he would hit a shock or something like that, that, that does make the game a bit more um, 
Well, he's got to discard down to three anyway. Yeah. I don't know if he drew up at the start of his turn, actually. So he's not running that break of bay. Does he suspect his psychic field? Because it's just lying there. Well, it could be a Ronin or it a It could be a Ronin or a Tech Star. I guess he's not in a position, I don't know how he's many not in position removed to trash the at the moment just because of the static, so, so I want to know. Yeah. Is this his plan? I mean, if... if um, so, so Tim is almost trying to vamp Dave at this point, but Dave yeah. needs two credits to kill him. If he, get, if he gets the window with a Ronin, Dave needs two credits. Yeah, if Tim can install a fourth program for his MU, he could just run HQ four times a turn. Yes. And... and As he, I mean, he must have another day. That, that, that does turn on the kill for Dave. Uh, if you were to hit a shock fourth click, for example, he'll go down to two cards. That's true, yeah, okay. So, uh, okay, right, let's think about Dave's position. If that's a Ronin uh, in the remote, which it could well be, uh, if he has a dedication ceremony in hand, he does just need uh, two credits. Um, he needs two credits. At the start of his turn, and Tim, and Tim, Tim to, to enter two, two cards. Four. Exactly. Uh, yeah, so if that's, a, I think, best ice there for Dave is a crick. One to res and cost two cards for Faust, and also punishing if you don't break it, so... I don't know. I think it did pay uh, for the Saigon. Uh, he took credits, right? He installed credit, credit. No, I think it's about Saigon for. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, hmm, this is a, it's a bit more of a puzzle now. Uh, so we suspect that Tim has no more access to a strike or any way of killing the statics from his wizard's abilities, probably off the table. But Tim, long Tim one. doesn't need to run. Okay, he's but he, he says, plain death laundry. <laughs> he's yeah. going to do laundry into HQ. More Cortex, okay, so uh, Suck and Mimic so and that, two cards, so that, that's that not That is going to cost him two cards. Unless you Suck and Mimic and Jack out. I, no, would, I would Suck and Mimic and Jack out. Even that you give up the money? Tim, Tim is, so Tim is trying to win the game. That's true, he, he can't. He, yeah. doesn't, he doesn't need to at this stage, he just needs to block lose. Okay, so he does in fact Suck, suck and Mimic and then Jack out, and he's going to he's gonna basically make sure he always has four or five cards, I think. That's so he can only end on three because there's usually uh, Sorry, three cards. Yeah. So he has to finish, that's true, he has to finish on exactly three. He just he just can't take any net damage towards the end of his turn. Yeah, interesting. Uh, but Dave is incredibly close to decking. Looks like he's only got two points. Uh, sorry, two or three cards left. He's only got two points, so he's not about to win. Uh, so if, Dave has a fetal. If Tim is just really careful. Which he may well have installed. So uh, yeah, so if he runs the fetal, he could, and that is a Ronin, then that could be game. Um, uh, he'll have to do one no, more. No, if Tim draws a card or something and then no if, mm. no Tim's fine as Tim, as yeah, Tim, Tim is really fine. is fine he just fine. needs to stop running I think he can spend two <laughs> clicks drawing yeah. th click three and four every time of every turn to be drawing basically uh, in, in Tim's shoes now which, which, which wouldn't fit I would just take four credits yeah okay four he's going to draw two draw but two and run seems dangerous though if he's running no, no, face no doesn't cards. need to run he doesn't need to run but he's no, but so, why, so why draw cards uh, exactly why draw cards yep. he'll have to discard I think you run. only draw cards if you play or spend cards yep. Yep. Uh, because he now has to discard he's, he's slowly decking himself unless yep. he's looking for something in particular but I can't think what he that might, would be he might be looking for a strike or a way to get a strike back uh, sure, sure. Okay, he, so he did levy he hasn't so used the same old thing so he needs a deja or a same old to get the strike back okay sure uh, that's true if he can do that then he can uh, okay so we're going to res the Ronin I'm assuming Tim's on three cards let's see what's going to happen if that, if that's a, so if that's a Ronin and it's a Ronin in the other remote as well, he could try and do it now and then do it again next turn, just because... Yeah, if he can do it two consecutive turns, then uh, Tim can only draw up two cards. That is an out. So t so Dave would need a double Ronin. He'd need to advance this himself. And the, dedication other, and the other Ronin survive, okay. Yep. And hope there's no I've had worse, which is a risk, because he's levied and gone a long way and not played one. <laughs> yes. So they could very easily be I've had worse. Yep. Um, and wow. of course, genetics pavilion will not throttle I've had worse during the corpse turn. So maybe that's what Tim's doing. Maybe he's trying to he's trying to filter his hand to I've had worse. Yeah, maybe. But, but I mean, how many cards are left in his deck? I don't know. We, we we've got to be like two minutes less now to time. Okay, so um, parasite and R and D. That was a crick, I believe. I can't see. So interestingly, Dave's only advanced that Ronin once, which means he still can't possibly kill the next turn, no matter what happens. Um, he can dedication click. And so with a click spare, he can have a click spare and Tim have lost three damage. Okay. No, he doesn't. It takes a whole... Oh, he can dedication, yeah. fire that and have a click. He yeah. needs to be a little bit careful with his Parasite because if there's a hostile on the board, that might do him and that damage he's not expecting. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah if he wants the hostile... Well, I mean, Dave, David doesn't have, Dave doesn't have the money at the minute, but uh, yes, that's true. I think both hostiles removed. Oh, no, there may be one left. There are two. There may be one somewhere. Yeah, okay. So yeah, you're right. If that had been about to trash that, he could have raised the hostile and, and it's kind of a biofix. Okay, so we're going to get dedication on click one from Dave. He's going to put three counts on Ronin, so it has the four it needs. It's got two clicks remaining. I what he's going to do. I assume he's going to click it. Or he's going to... He doesn't have neural. I mean, if you had one, you'd neural here. Yeah. He's just not... He's not going to fire it? He's going to click a there, crit. There, there's no value to firing it. I think he's going to leave it there because Tim can't trash it. 
so, so maybe he's going to try and set up two. That, that's, but, that's, but he can never. He can't do two even now, can he? No, but it, okay. He can. He can now. If he, if, let, well, let's say the outside card is a Ronin. If he advances it now, next turn he can raise dedication uh, and click both. Yep. Right, he'll have three yep. clicks, so he can fire two Ronins in one turn. But he, he does need the second one advanced. He needs an advancement. He, so he needs to, right yeah. now. He can't do two. He needs to. He needs to advance it or dedication it. And the advance you, the other you, one. You Tim will trash it. it. He can't trash it. There's no. There's no wizard ability. Tim is poor, and uh, IG's ability is in play, and there are four or five cards in the game. Wow, but we're like sixty seconds from time, so. So it's a sort of a yeah, but Tim is has totally legitimately can think about this turn. Um, but sure this is why Tim taking four credits would have put him in a very strong position because then he could just go and trash that Ronin. If he just, if the last yeah, two turns instead of sure. drawing, if he'd just taken credits, he could kill the Ronin. That, that's Dave's last out gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's two ice on this remote, so there's, uh, there's not a lot this other ice could be. So we think it could be Crick Vanilla, Chrysalis. Okay, so we've got a crit, another Crick on R&D uh, as he runs into R&D. Do we get two cards? So Dave has no sucker token. Uh, Tim has no sucker token. No sucker. So it has probably to be can't cards. let this go because uh, it will bring back a Ronin. Maybe it won't actually. It will bring. It's almost only a face down card, but you just don't want to take that risk. Uh, there's no bioethics left in the game. I think he's letting it fire. I think he's letting it fire because he doesn't want to spend two cards. What what cards could Dave install that is worse than taking two net effective now? So I can't think. I've been of told time's been called. Who's Okay. So, so Time has called on Tim's turn. So this is the last turn of the game for Dave? Still? No, this is Tim's turn. Oh, it's a GFI, okay. Okay. Oh, sorry, yeah. So Dave will have the last turn. So this is going to finish his turn, and that's the end. Of, that's his, he's done, and then Dave will have Tim, the turn. Tim, just don't run. You can't die. Just do the math. Make sure you're on three Correct. cards, and it's, it's over. There's no way. Dave will fire a Ronin for lols, and then that's it. How many cards has he got in hand, though? He hit, let the crick fire. He let the crick fire, so he's, got he's three, still on three. So he's going to click for a credit or something, okay. If there Past was turn. a sneaky, uh, what's the Wayland one so that Tim advances is, things in remote? Tim is now trying to work out if he's still a chairman hero to win, I believe. So if there was a face down space camp in there, it could have been game for Tim, <laughs> for, for Dave, but that is it. I, I don't think Tim was playing around space camp. Yeah, well, so he should have been. The fool. That could have lost him. That could have lost him in the game now. Uh, so the chat is asking why he doesn't go trash Chairman Hero. The reason is he can't afford it, um, and he doesn't need to because he's winning and time has uh, been called. Although having said that, the Cerebral Static was just hit, uh, was just killed by the GFI still. So he does have whiz bucks, but the IG ability is still in so play. So he's got six, and there are uh, so he could four go, or five cards he in could, the bin. He could get for credit and trash that for the game if he wanted to, but I don't think he needs to. He can afford to get in and trash the hero now. It's six. He's got three whiz bucks. He's got three credits. It cost him one to get in, so I think he can do it if he wants to. He but pr he probably can't. What, but why? What Tim will be wondering is: Is there something I haven't thought of that kills me if I if I do this? And uh, yeah, and he, if I do nothing as well. Exactly. There's no, just, there's no, there's there's no downside turn. to not doing it. So he doesn't know. Uh, he doesn't know Dave's list back to front. So he doesn't know there's no neural, for instance. So again, he's, he's run Arcos here. He's run he, he doesn't need to. So he's hit a vanilla. I guess you just bounce, right? He's I, gonna break yeah. it. So if there's shocks in here, this is, is, this is this a is huge mistake. It's a GFI. Tim, why would you run? Why would you run that? Tim, that Tim, has, Tim is famous for doing stupid things when he doesn't need to. When it, what was it in Nationals last year? He got to second place by doing something very similar, right? He, he yeah. ran. He so ran, he he ran when he'd won on time. He nearly went to time against Quinn. And he ran on click four for no reason. He was about to win. And he absolutely and gave the sea risked scorch. the sea exactly. sauce. Exactly. Yeah. He turned on sea sauce. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, why did you run? Oh, Tim, you... Lucky, mad, lucky man. Mad, okay, mad, mad. so fortunately we're now going to have oh. a brief break because Tim needs to go and take a short walk uh, and, and, and decide what he's doing. Yeah. Um, and then uh, after a little while, I'm not sure how long it's going to be, 15, 20 minutes, we're going to see Tim uh, Fowler playing against Vikash uh, Sharma in the final. Uh, that'd be oh, that's pretty exciting. Oh. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, oh, we'll, 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 put, we'll put on the title card what time that's starting and we'll... Uh, oh, we've been told now. Yeah. All right, great. Uh, so we'll see you very shortly.